Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix performance issue with Tales of Arise game on your Windows PC. Now the first step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD, go to AMD website. So I'm showing for Nvidia. So go to Nvidia website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and operating system, then click on search. And then you will see the download option. So click on download. And once the download is complete, run the exe file. And when you run, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. Then put a check on the box which says custom. And then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. And then click on next. And after the clean installation, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card. So if your computer came with dual graphic card, make sure that you are running the game on the dedicated graphic card for this go ahead and type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now go to browse click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so open the steam folder then open steam apps then open the common folder then open tales of arise folder and then open the arise folder and then open the binaries then open win 64 and then select the game exe file over here and then click on add and once the game is added over here click on options then select high performance and then click on save and then try to launch the game the next step is for the next step is to run the game as an administrator for this go to steam make a right click on the game and then click on manage and then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder again open arise folder binaries win64 Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply, ok and then try to launch the game from here. So instead instead of clicking on, clicking on play over here, just make a double click over here and try to launch the game from the game installation folder. Now the next issue is to fix black screen. So press all plus enter on the keyboard. If that is not resolved then now in case if you are running external DAC you can go ahead and try to lower down bitrate to 96,000 and this has worked for many users so it might work for you. The next step is to allow the game exe file to, uh, to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, if you have a VAST, Norton, McAfee, Bitdefender. So if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now in case if you are using windows security, go to the start menu then click on settings, go to update and security and then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down here you can see ransomware protection, click on manage ransomware protection and then click on allow an app through control folder access then click on yes and then click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps. Now again go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file then click on open and once the game is added over here try to launch the game now the next step is to install visual c++ file the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 and 19 you have to go ahead and download both x86 and x64 versions so click on both x86 and x64 exe file once the download is complete run both the exe file so click on repair or install whatever you see click on yes to allow run the second file as well click on repair or install whatever you see click on yes to allow and let the installation complete let both the installation complete so do not click on restart only when both the installation is complete you can go ahead and click on restart or you can close this window go to the start menu and then click on the power icon then click on restart and after the system restart you can go ahead and try to launch the game the next step is to disable overlay and close all the overlay application so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties uncheck the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game uncheck this now if this option is also checked which says keep game saves in steam cloud uncheck this and then try to launch the game now in case if you have any other overlay application so if you have discord running on the computer go ahead and close discord 
Now, in case if you have GeForce experience running on the computer, go ahead and close GeForce experience. So make sure that you close all the overlay application. Also close all the overclocking application. So do not overclock. So if you have any overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner running on the computer, go ahead and close MSI Afterburner. Now in case if you have Revert Tuner running on the computer, go ahead and close Revert Tuner. So just make sure that you close all the overclocking application. Also perform clean boot. To perform clean boot, type in system configuration in Windows search box. Then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all. In my case, I already did it. That's why it's grayed out. In your case, when you put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services, then you have to go ahead and click on disable all, then click on apply, OK, and then you will see the restart option, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Also close all the background applications. So make sure that only the game and the Steam is running. Rest you can go ahead and close all the background application, including your browser. And you can also go to settings and in the search you can go ahead and type in background apps and then click on background apps. And if this option is checked, you can go ahead and turn it off. So if this is on, go ahead and turn it off and then try to launch the game. The next step is to update your windows to the latest version for this. Go to the start menu then click on settings and then go to update and security and then click on check for update. And once the update is installed, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. The next step is to verify the game files. To verify the game file, go to the steam, make a right click on the game, select properties go to the local files tab and then put a check you have to go ahead and click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification you can go ahead and try to launch the game now in case if you are able to launch the game you can go ahead and try to launch the game in window mode and then try to lower down graphic settings so first of all go ahead and launch the game so while running the game you can press the escape key on the keyboard then go to system then go to settings scroll down and here you can see graphic settings you can go ahead and try window mode and then try to lower down resolution so if you have high resolution you can go ahead and try to lower down to 1920 into 1080p or 1280 into 720 and you can go ahead and try to turn on and turn off vertical sync and check which one is working fine for you now in graphic settings you can go ahead and try to lower down graphic settings so if it is set to high you can go ahead and select medium or low and then check the performance now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game for this go to the steam make a right click on the game then click on manage then click on uninstall and after the uninstallation go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to get the game running on your computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel